everybody. It is uh, June 4th. Well, you can see the time. Um, I know I'm kind of looking like a hot mess right now, and I apologize for that, but I have been trying to record for several days now, at least give you guys my meal plan and my exercise plan, but things have been so crazy around here. I'm going through an inspection, you know, so I got people coming out cleaning the in carpet and fixing stuff, and uh, in between trying to count my uh, calories and um, you know, when I, for uh, what, oh, been about two weeks now from the time I got inspired um, by Anna Shea and decided to do this, oh, I'm going to start the, the diet by June 1st, um, that was like two weeks, and um, I spent most of my time trying to figure out how to get, work the camera and stuff again. I used that uh, Pinnacle Studio um, thing to do the video, and um, I, when, I, when I used it, Back in 2008, it was so simple. Now things has changed. I had to spend a bunch of time reading and installing drivers and all this other stuff. But anyway, um, my message that I want to say today is before you start any diet, please make sure you take the time and prepare. Um, and I usually know to do that. Um, I did give myself a week, but that wasn't enough. Um, because um, I first had to decide, okay, what am I going to do? I've lost weight so many times, and I'm, I'm pretty knowledgeable about a lot of things. I've tried everything. I've been a vegetarian for four years at one point. I've done the Atkins diet. I've done Weight Watchers. I've, d I've done a bunch of stuff. So it's not like I don't know what to do to lose weight. My problem has just always been uh, keeping it off and, and you know, so anyway, I tried to decide what I was going to do this time, um, and I ran across the book, um, Burn the Fat, Read the Muscle, uh, no, sorry, Read the Muscle, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, um, and uh, so I've been really inspired by um, his book, and so um, one of the things that I would have to say, the reason why I said is I would go ahead and like get prepared like a couple of weeks to a month, especially if you know your your um, life is busy. And uh, I've been reading his book, so I decided to do the calorie thing, um, you know, counting calories, figuring out my ca uh, calories and my body fat and all this other stuff, because those are things that I haven't, I've never done before. So uh, they always say when you want something, you like if you want to be rich. You know, you go. You don't go talk to a poor person because you know, nine times out of ten, not that I'm saying a poor person might don't know anything because there are some people who have had money and lost it and they might be poor for the minute, but they know how to get it again. But for the most part, you know, don't go to a poor person because if they, if they knew how to be rich, they probably wouldn't be most likely. So, since I know what I want to do with my body, so I decided to you know seek information. For, from uh, somebody who has the type of uh, physique that I want to choose. So anyway, I ended up running across um, his book, and um, like I said, inspired me because I want to, you know, build, build muscles and stuff because I know that helps you to burn. That not that I want to be a bodybuilder. Not, that's not what I'm saying, but somebody that's in that um, arena, you know. So anyway, I was inspired by his book, and so when I decided to. Um, that I was going to do the, the uh, carbs and everything, um, I had like a day to, to start planning my meals and stuff. Um, and I sat down and I counted my carbs for like two days. And uh, then stuff started coming at me, important stuff. Like, you know, like I said, these building inspectors are coming. That's something that I have to do or, you know, I, I got to keep a home. So I got to do that. So you know, spending all the time trying to figure out the videos and what I'm going to say and what I'm going to do and shopping and all this other stuff. I found myself, I counted the, cal the, the uh, calories for about two days and then I was like, oh boy, I can't do this. I'm tired. You know, I'm working out. Then my son um, was sick too, you know, with diarrhea and stuff and just, and I'm like, oh my God, I just cleaned this. These people are covered. I got to, you know. So anyway, I just, so my whole point is um, to, you know, stuff is going to happen. So if you know you're a busy person, you know, it, it's best. And if you decide, okay, I'm going to count calories or whatever, 
whatever you decide to do, sit down and write out your meal plans and count all those things. Like I'd say two, two to three or even a month, depending on how busy you are to get your menus and your plan together. Because if you do like what I did now, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not messed up because I'm still doing some of the principles like eating five times a day and getting rid of, you know, food that is bad for me. So I still believe and know that I'm going to be losing weight, but I don't have no meal plan set like I wanted, you know, because I rushed to do it. But that's okay. I'm still on the plan as far as I'm concerned because the way I'm eating now, you know, um, I'm still um, going to lose weight because I've gotten rid of uh, bad foods. There's nothing like that in my house. The only thing I have in here is like vegetables and um, some protein and stuff like that. And so I'm going to go through through my diet in the next video and everything. But I just really wanted to talk about the importance of preparation. You got to prepare. You got to prepare ahead of time if you really, really want um, this to be successful. You have to prepare because stuff is going to come up. So if you want to follow your plan to a T or whatever, have it already together. Your menus and just everything set. Get everything that you need, this food scale, whatever it is you're going to be doing. So anyway, that's one of my tips. So I'm going to end with this video and then I'm going to come right back and talk to you guys about what I'm doing as far as uh, working out and, uh, and eating. Okay.